I've already made up three panels for these trousers. So I've got yellow back and a green front and a green back. Now we're going to make the yellow front. With my first pair that I made, I did half and half again. I did one side in light colours and one side in dark colours and then matched it on the back and also matched it around the waistband as well. So we'll do the same thing with these, but this time I'll use yellow and green instead. So I'm going to show you from scratch how I make the patchwork panels for the trousers. So we'll start by collecting our fabrics and I'm going to just grab the iron quickly and press these because they've been in the scrap bin for a while. So generally what I've been doing is collecting some prints that I really love and cutting them down into five inch squares. I've got some scraps left over from the back piece and I've got some fat quarters here. These are from Craft Cross and Company and they're what I'm going to use to fill any gaps or for filling bigger spaces. I've also got this yellow spot fabric which I've got quite a, quite a decent amount of there so I'm going to use that as well. And yeah, these were just left over from the back piece that I made. But they might come in handy. And you don't have to use all the same colour. This could be completely random. Just depends what you have in your fabric stash. But I've just gone for the two-tone colours. And I'm just pressing these to make it easier to cut. So yeah, whatever fabrics you've got in your stash. And I'd say maybe have a few pieces of fabric that are a bit bigger than scraps. So the spot fabric that I'm using here is from Debbie Shaw Sewing. It's the pin spot in yellow. This little piece of floral is Lewis and Irene. It's also available on Debbie Shaw Sewing. And it's from the collection of Hannah's Flowers. This fabric was gifted to me from the Craft Cotton Company. I think they're still available in Hobbycraft at the moment. Definitely the teal ones are, I haven't checked for the mustard. And then these few pieces are Art Gallery Fabrics scraps. So just to talk about the pattern, I've used a elasticated waist trouser pattern which I found on Etsy, it's called Lottie Trousers and it's by Minimalist Pattern. I'll leave a link in the video's description so you can see exactly which trousers they are. But on Etsy the title is Women's Linen Trousers, Pants, High Waisted, Elastic Waistband, Inseam Pockets, PDF Sewing Pattern, Ankle Length. And that pretty much explains what they are, ankle length. There's the option for pockets if you wanted to add pockets. I didn't with mine, just because I didn't want them to be too bulky. And there's an elasticated waist as well. They're really, they're simple to make. And that's kind of why I chose them. Simple to make and comfy to wear. And the size I've used is the US 12. And that's what I would usually buy in stores as well. So it's kind of true to size, but do check your measurements before you start sewing and cutting. So we'll keep our pattern piece to hand because we're going to keep bringing that in as we're creating our patchwork. So let's start. I'm going to take my five inch squares and I'm going to pick out the ones that I really like. So I love that mushrooms. I love the daisies. The chickens are super cute. Love the chet. And then these few maybe dotted around the edge. So the way we're going to work with this is working in blocks. So I'm going to take probably that larger square and we'll start at the top of the trousers. So so we'll just start arranging and seeing what we come up with. I'd say it's best to keep your favourite prints in the middle because that way you're not going to lose any of them when we trim this down because we're making this patchwork piece bigger than our pattern piece just to take into account any seam allowances and I've decided to go for random sizes you could make these all the same size so if you just stuck with 5 inch squares and made your entire trousers just out of the 5 inch squares that would look really nice as well and it'd be quite uniform but still if they're all different prints it'd be quite fun but I am going to go for the random sizes because I think it makes it look even more handmade which I'm living at the moment. So I'm just kind of arranging these, playing with the different shapes that I've got here. I've got a small piece there that can fill that gap. Because what we don't want is to have to sew these together and end up with a gap like this. Because that's going to be really tricky to sew these seams. So we'll just keep working out until we've got a larger rectangle. And I'm kind of spreading out evenly the different kind of designs that I've got. So I'm making sure that my spots are far away, 
these are further away evenly spreading out any of the paler colours as I'm going. So I think what I'll do is create a block this size because I'm happy with this arrangement so what I'm going to do is rather than using my nice fabric to fill in that gap I'm going to cut a piece of fabric to fill in there and a smaller piece of spot there just to fill that gap and that can be our first block. So I'll bring my pattern piece in. We won't actually need these side pieces, so we'll save those maybe for later on. And we want to make sure that this patchwork is wider and a bit longer than this actual pattern piece because once we've had the seam allowances put in, this will shrink down. So make sure it's slightly bigger. It doesn't need to be this much bigger just because I had a big piece of fabric. So that's gonna get cut off and I can use that somewhere else. And that way once everything is sewn together, we won't be coming up too short. And your squares can be completely random sizes, like I've used here. You just want to make sure that you are working with straight lines, just to make this a bit easier to line up when you're sewing. So I actually think I'm going to save my nicer piece further down the trousers, and I'll probably fill that small gap there with a spot. I'm going to pop those to one side, and we're going to carry on building up the patchwork down straight. Now because this is a new block, these don't have to line up here, so that can kind of go in the middle there with another one next to it. And we could put a floral down the edge maybe, and maybe a large strip of this. And then bringing my pattern piece in, once again. I might get away with that being the right size, so that could actually be my second block. So carrying on, we'll have a flower in the middle. So it's all just trial and error, playing around with the colours, playing around with the patterns until you're happy with what you've got. So I'm really liking how this is looking. I'm running out of space to do this, so I'll start sewing these together. So I'm using an overlocker to sew these together. That way all my seams are finished on the inside so they won't fray and it makes it quick and easy, which is what I love when I'm sewing. These trousers won't be lined because I don't mind seeing the seams on the inside. It doesn't irritate my skin and it doesn't bother me that there are seams on the inside of the trousers. And because I'm quite fussy with bulky fabric, I want to keep all the bulk to a minimum. And I think adding a lining might make it a little bit more stiff and a little bit less comfortable to wear. So I'm gonna start sewing the first big block that we have here. Now because these joins here all kind of finish halfway through another piece, we'll work in strips. So starting with the first strip, so I'm going to make sure that I keep this line straight so that when I attach it to here, it makes it quite easy. So I'll sew this to this and then this to this first. And I'm just using a small seam allowance, I'm not being too particular. So sewing that to that, and now this one is going right sides together to that one, in the same way. And we've got one strip. Now because I've got a straight line here as well, I'll do the same. So these right sides together. You see I'm keeping a straight line here. We can neaten this up later on. And then with my last piece, just that one going onto there. So after sewing those together, I've actually got a bit of a gap at the top, so I'm just going to get a strip of fabric to fill that gap, just in case we need it. Yep, I'll use that one. So I'm going to sew that right sides together to the top. Okay, these two right sides together. And now I'm going to make sure that this line at the bottom here is straight, so I'm lining those two up. And now I can sew that side to this side. And as you can see here, I haven't got a straight line, so I'll just trim that back so I have got a straight line to sew that together. Mm 
like so. And then that one can go right sides together. Again, lining up the bottom so this bottom edge is straight. That's our first block sewn together. I'm going to bring my pattern piece in once again. And just making sure that that is the right fit. Something you also want to check, if you're doing it in two-tone colours like I am, you want to make sure that you're cutting these facing the right way. So I used that pattern piece like this with my green side, so I need to flip this over for my yellow one. And I'm glad I knew that now, rather than carrying on and working that out later. So this is the way up that we should be working with this. And even so, it's still a good fit. So the two front pieces of the trousers need to be mirror imaged. So that's the first block sewn. Now I'll try and remember what I did with the second, something like that. And now my main straight lines are down here and across here. So sewing my two smallest pieces together first this time. So we'll pop those right sides together. And then we'll sew this to what we've just done. And now we can sew the side piece to that. So a bit smaller, but that's our second block. Again, I'm going to bring in the pattern piece. And lining that up, I'm going to place that where it needs to be under my pattern piece. Ever so slightly too short. So rather than trying to make it fit, I'm going to add an extra panel on the side just to be safe. And I'll sew that panel to that one. So now you can see we're starting to build up this shape nicely. I like the chickens, I'm going to keep them in the middle. And I've got a bit too many random gaps here, so let's try and work that out. So I think I'll swap that one out for a strip that's going to line up with this edge. Maybe this one again. This seems to be my main print running throughout that and the spot. As you can see, I'm cutting pretty rough. So I think that's going to be okay for my third block. attach those together. So what I'll do now is I'll give that a press and then we'll see where we're at. We might need just a little bit more on the bottom. Okay, bring the pattern piece in again. Let's see where we're at. So that lines up with the top there. You see we've got that much left to fill. So I think one more kind of block of squares is gonna work well. And then we're done. So I do like this check, so I want that to be in there. And I think a bit more spot. And that floral one maybe. And then I'm gonna put something on the bottom. Sew these together. Iron that again. 
perfect. So now I'm going to pin that in place and then we can cut out the shape. So now once you've had your patched work pieces cut to the size of the pattern piece, you just carry on sewing the pattern together as the instructions state. So I'm grabbing my back piece and placing that right sides together and I'll sew the side seam. So there's the front and back. I'll do the same with the other leg. So that one's my front piece. This is my back piece. Front and back. And I'm going to sew up the inside seam. So keeping those right sides together. And then my yellow leg. Let's do that inside seam. And then I'm going to turn this one right side out. This is where I kind of ignore the pattern instructions because I've sewn trousers before, so I just sew them up how I normally do sew them up myself. So putting them right sides together. So I ran out of memory, so I hope that got all of it. But I've just sewn the trousers together around the crotch, inside seams, outside seams. Did I do that the wrong way around? No, that's very green. Okay. And then all I did to finish off the edge of these is to use a rolled hem on my overlocker just around the bottom because this pattern actually, for me, comes up a little bit short. So if I was to make actual, like, <laughs> normal trousers out of these I would extend them slightly so rather than taking off any more length by folding up I'm just going to use a rolled hem so this is our pattern piece for the waistband it's a cut on fold but I'm going to do it two-toned to match the trousers so I'll just flip these the right side out and just like we created patchwork for these parts we're going to create patchwork again for the waistband so green, yellow. And to do that, I'm just going to take some of my main fabrics that I used for the green side, which was this flowers and the leaves. And then for the yellow, I'll use the spot and then this tile print as well. So a strip of that one. And a strip of that one. I'll sew those right sides together. And then the same with this side, so I'll do a strip of the flowers and a strip of the leaves and I'm going to sew those right sides together and then I'll sew right sides together so now that's going to be my fold line where the center is going to be and you see it's quite rough but it doesn't matter because we're going to trim this down now to this size. So placing on fold, I'm going to pin that in place. And then I'm going to cut out that shape. So now this is my waistband piece. Fold it in half, wrong sides together. And then just Opening the ends back out, we're going to sew those right sides together to make a loop, or to make a circle. And now we're going to, to attach the waistband to the trousers. So lining up my two front pieces, going right sides together, and I'm just going to pin that, making sure I line up those middle points, because I want my patchwork to match. And then we can just pin around the edge. And then on the overlocker, I'm going to sew that in place. And I'm going to leave a small gap about that big here so I can thread my elastic through. So 
now there is the waistband. Now with my elastic, I've measured it to the size that I want it to be. And I'm just gonna go inside this waistband and thread it around the inside of the waist. And I'm just making sure not to twist it as I'm going and just feeding that safety pin through. Then once it's thread all the way through, I'm just gonna join the ends by overlapping them and sewing. And then we can spread that elastic evenly throughout the trousers. And at this point, I'm just gonna try them on and make sure I'm happy with the fit. Yep, too big. So just finding that join again and take off the bit. And then try them on again. So that's much better. So now I can close that little opening. And that is the patchwork trousers done. Now you can leave the waistband like this, but what I'm going to do is just pin these, pin around the entire edge. And then I'm going to use my sewing machine to sew a top stitch at the top and bottom of that waistband. And I'm going to stretch out the waistband as I'm sewing. So as you're feeding it through, you want to pull the back as well so that it feeds evenly. So what that does is just give this a nice finish just around the edges and it also keeps the elastic in place. Now with my first pair I sewed a few rows of these which made it look a bit like it was um, sheared but really it was just rows of stitches through the elastic. 